day six of the vision casting video series. I hope you're able to tune in to yesterday's video and do the worksheets helping you to discover your vision for your life. I believe vision is the conduit to helping you reach your dreams. Today we're going to talk about habits and how to work smarter and not harder. How many of you just want to wake up every morning wanting to go work out and have a quiet time and really chase after your dreams? That's not really me either most of the time, but habits, if you create good habits, this can be more of a reality than you think. And I'm gonna explain a little bit of the science behind why. So your brain does a lot of things for you. And there's a funny part of your brain called the basal ganglia. The basal ganglia is a tightly packed cluster of neurons located within the deep center of your brain. Among its many functions, your basal ganglia helps you to create habits. This makes sense since one of the components is to release dopamine. Because dopamine can be released in both healthy ways and unhealthy ways, it's so important to train your brain well. So you have to learn how to train your brain to create habits that will propel you towards your destiny instead of impeding your progress. One of the best ways to do this is for you to learn and develop healthy habits. Habits are the magic ingredients for your vision to come to life and the glue that will really help you hold your vision together. Habits are simply small everyday choices, right? They're just the things that you kind of do over and over and over again. When taken individually, they don't really seem too impressive or too important. However, if you take a step back and see how those little moments combine, they really, des they really describe the fabric of your life. Every year, millions of Americans make New Year's resolutions. According to the Journal of Clinical Psychology, 25% of people fall off the bandwagon within the first week, and only 8% actually accomplish their resolution. This sounds pretty depressing, doesn't it? With numbers like that, you may be thinking, why bother? But I wonder what those 8% are doing right. They can't be that much smarter or that much disciplined than you and I. I wonder if they have developed healthy habits. Charles Duhigg is the habit guy. and the power of habits, Duhigg systematically shows the power and influence habits possess. Remember, a habit is simply a pattern of behaviors. They're hard to give up because the pattern is ingrained in your neurological makeup. Imagine with me a block of wood and a little carving knife. Each time you do a behavior, the, the wood gets deeper and deeper. And that's like a habit until you've ingrained this nice deep groove and you don't even think about doing it. Your brain creates habits to conserve energy. So you might be wondering, how did I hit the snooze button again? Or how did I check Facebook? It seems so automatic, I don't even remember doing it. It's because you have that deep groove within your brain. Unfortunately, unhealthy habits are easier to adopt than the healthy ones. I don't know why, just the way that it is. So maybe you're checking Facebook or hitting the snooze button or getting that 3 p.m. treat. Every once in a while, that's not a big deal. By themselves, that they aren't bad things. But when you do them every day, especially without thinking about them, habits become destructive and will derail your vision. A paper published by Duke University found that up to 40% of our actions people take every day weren't actual decisions, they were habits. I find that sobering because if we're not paying attention to our life, then we're just kind of bobbing about going wherever the current takes us. Habits form when little thoughts and little behaviors come in and your brain shifts into autopilot. No longer paying attention, you simply go through the motions, taking you wherever the current takes you. You can make your life easier and more effective by creating habits that more align with your vision. Let me give you an example. My husband wants to run the Boston Marathon. Now that's a huge dream and it really requires a lot of sacrifice and determination. So he has created strategic habits that will help him to accomplish that goal. And a few of those habits are to set out his clothes every night before a run. He also sets out the necessary drinks and food that he's gonna need for the next day as well. This does two different things. Number one, it provides a cue when you have that reminder, maybe your tennis shoes by the door or whatever that cue may be for you, it helps your brain to signal it to actually do that action later on. And then when you have done a little bit of prep work like he does, then it's one less thing for your brain and mind to do. 
So the easier you can make things for yourself, the more you can create those habits, the more likely you are to reach your dreams. Creating habits isn't as difficult as you may think. The challenge is to create focus, determination, and that grit to do it little by little and piece by piece. We all want those big changes overnight, but remember, habits are the small everyday things, so you have to be willing to take the time to do it. Now, I've provided you with an amazing handout that really details a systematic plan helping you to create new habits. It's a multi-phase plan. So if you're wanting to create habits, if you want to make your life easier and to make your habits work for you, I highly suggest you checking out the resources. Thank you so much for today and be sure to tune in tomorrow for day seven where we kind of close it all together for our final day about how you can expect delays on your journey.